Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my 10 most complimented Bath & Body Works fragrances. Um, most of these are some of my favorite scents, but today I'm focusing on being complimented with these um, scents. So I'm going to start with the most perfumey scents and work my way down to the most um, subtle skin-like fragrances. So the first one is very perfumey, actually. This is Sunshine Mimosa. Um, it says that it has bright, bubbly champagne and fresh citrus. Toast to this sweet fragrance inspired by the beauty of everyday celebration. Cheers to Sunshine Mimosa. Um, yeah, this is very bright, very bubbly, very happy. Um, and it's very perfumey. It actually lasts quite a bit for it to be a fragrance mist, so I really like this one. The second one that I have is uh, Into the Night, and this one is Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose Petals, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Musk, and it says evoke natural confidence and brilliant beauty from the beginning of your day into the night. And this one, honestly, <laughs> It's just what it says. It's for nighttime, in my opinion. And you can really smell the raspberry in it. Um, and it's very perfumey as well. I actually really, really like this one. And yeah, there's not much that I can say about it. Just that it's so good. <laughs> the third one is A Thousand Wishes. This is such a classic. I don't know how many little bottles. And I think I had a, a big bottle like this once. I don't know how many I've, I've gone through throughout the years, but there's a few. This one, unfortunately, doesn't have the notes in it a lot. So to me, it's just like a really young, um, like, you know, that, that girl, that girl in school that you're like, oh my God, she smells good. I don't know. <laughs> it brings me back to those memories. If I can find the notes online, I'm going to put, put it on the screen for you. This one is Champagne, Apple, and Honey. This one does have the notes, and this is Pink Lady Apple, Sparkling Champagne, Jasmine Honey, and Autumn Woods. Life's lovelier outside. Step into nature's wonderful beauty. Honestly, this is one of my favorites. I had another bottle of this years ago, and I think last year I got this one at one of those sales. Um, this smells so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, definitely what you smell is the apple right away, but like a sweet apple. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's really, really good. We have peas. Um, it's iced raspberry bellini. And this is chilled prosecco, sparkling raspberry, and citrus twist. Spread holiday cheer and give the gift of peace this year. Um, my mom is actually wearing... Uh, she has this same bottle. She's actually wearing this most nights and it smells really good, like really refreshing. You can smell the raspberry, but like in a very, very refreshing way. And it's, it's so weird to me that I can smell the freshness and like the bubbliness of it. Like honestly, it smells like I'm smelling a refresher from Starbucks. Let me put them a little bit closer so you well, let me not put it in front of baby Yoda. Oh, oh, what is it? Okay. And we have Gingham Heart of Gold. Um, this one says crisp golden apple, creamy vanilla bean, and warm sandalwood. This one is oh my gosh. It has the DNA of the original gingham, which is not my favorite, but it's it's like warm. I don't know, like it's sweet and warm and I love it. I mean, I love it so much that I bought two bottles of it. And this is going to be soon in my project you set up for March, I think, because I already took a little bit of the label so that I can see the liquid inside. But anyways, that's beside the point. I really, really like this one. It's just so nice and warm and sweet, but not as sweet as the ones that I'm going to talk about now. Uh, then we have Warm Vanilla Sugar. And this is 
intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, creamy sandalwood, cozy, developing, irresistible. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't know if you ever smelled warm sugar, warm vanilla sugar, but this is, oh, I don't know. It's just so nice. And I'm not a huge vanilla fan in most fragrances because I think that they just put it too intense, like too strongly into some fragrances. But this one is like perfect. And you can mix and match because I don't know. Let's say that one of these needs a little a little touch of vanilla i can spray this one and then that one on top and it'll give it that creaminess that um sweetness basically that's missing and i love sweet scents so i really wanted this one in my collection um this one is vanilla mocha cream like one of my favorites i don't know if you can see but the liquid is like right here and i think i only use this like two three days in a row um, so this is Cozy Cappuccino Vanilla Orchid White Tonka Bean. Cozy up and embrace the comfort of spending time at home. This is... This was made for me. This was made for me. Like, I love coffee. I love the creaminess that this has. I love the whole theme of being at home, cozy. I don't know. I love this, this collection. It's so good. I have, like... Two more backups of this so that says something and speaking of backups i have two more backups of this one as well this is cozy sunday morning and this one i've i've actually been cheating a little bit and i haven't been using the the project pan as much at night i've been using this one and you can see it's already here but i'm gonna stop wearing it um and then probably for march i'll put this one in my project pan but yeah you can see that it's right here just from a few days of using it it's it's honestly what it says it's cozy um it says fresh lavender creamy vanilla soft sandalwood like those notes are so i'm already relaxed just reading them and it says the same cozy up embrace the comfort of spend, spending time at home <clears throat> and this one is sweet pea i always get sweet pea um for nighttime I don't like to wear this one much outside, but for nighttime before going to sleep, this one is so good. Um, I bought it and like for two nights in a row or three, I was wearing it and look, it's like right here. It's so good. This is a classic. I will always get this one as long as they sell it. It's a sweet pea, watery pear, sheer freesia, luscious raspberry, soft musk, sweet pea, embraces a bright and playful spirit that's forever young at heart. It, like, I couldn't have thought about a better explanation for this fragrance. It's so classic and young and, like, sweet and beautiful. Lastly, we have Snowflakes and Cashmere. And actually, this is my first time having this scent. Finally got it. So this one is Vanilla Cashmere Cream Caramel Woods Frosted Clementine. This is, I don't know. It's so relaxing. Like, these right here are my most relaxing scents, right? This one is even more relaxing. I don't know what it has, but it's so smooth, creamy, soft. Like, I don't know, the scent... Oh my gosh. I'm actually kind of regretting that I didn't get the lotion to match this one, but I will. If they ever have another sale and this one is in it, I'm definitely going to get it. But yeah, guys, this is basically my 10 fragrances. I actually went back to count them and I have 11. So let's put this one as um, honorable mention, right? So now I have 11 fragrances that are my most complimented and some of my favorites. So yeah, guys, see you on my next video. Bye.